this camera here. There you go. There's something I want to react to today. And it's actually a video made by the one and only TF Brit. And I wanted to react with it on stream. Because I watched about the first minute of it just to see how legit it was. Anyway, so I want to react to this. And and because it's 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 a video that, that's pretty good. It, it, it's... I, I think anyway. I watched the first minute of it. I think it was. The, I've watched the first ranking of it, uh, like the first, like the first uh, game he ranked, because he ranks the games in, in survival games. Now I'm not here to critique on the video, but today I want to watch this video and see how accurate and how unbiased Brit takes on this this uh, this 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 uh, video because I have an odd feeling he's not going to take it very unbiasedly. And he's going to take it in a super biased manner. So let me turn off my music and uh, go to my stream labs. And, uh, and I just want to watch it. Okay, I didn't, I, I watched the first minute of it. So I think the moment after he put Death Run in. How loud is that compared to me? Right, it's pretty loud. All right, we're going to turn it to about half volume. <laughs> My buddy Sizzler did a Hive minigame peer review. And okay, so first thing, he's basing it off of another guy's video. So I think he's going off of his list first, which is fine. But I just, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, anyway, I'm just going to skip this whole intro because he's introducing all the games. You guys are already on all the games. If you don't know all the games on Hive, we're going to be playing Hive later. So you'll you'll get to know them. So the first one he talks about is Death Run. Um, and where does he put it? Where, I'm just going to, you know, I'll watch it 60 minutes, but I'm going to pause through it because it is a long video. So I'm going to pause and give my thoughts after he ranks each one. I am max level in this game and it's one of my favorites. Right. I, I think it's pretty fun because, uh, you know, a lot of times I just get so far ahead that the, the deaths don't even know that I'm, I'm in the game. Like, like that's true. That does happen. Cracked. I'm pretty cracked. At Death Run, and uh, that's why it's one of my favorites. I will agree with Stizward though that uh, you know it. I should make this clear. I haven't watched uh, Stizward's video. I, I I don't even really know who he is. So I just want to make that clear. I, I have no opinion on his list. I'm literally just going off for Brit here. So yeah. Can be really uh, repetitive, and that can make it. It can be a little perpet. But um, aside from that, I, I do think that this. Is better than a B tier. I think it's better than B tier, Stizzward. And uh, okay, so Stizzward put it in B. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just gonna show you how cracked I am by getting this. Okay, I think I agree and disagree with this point. Okay, so this is the only one that I have watched, but I wanted to give my thoughts on this one anyway. Um, I think yes, the traps can be very uh, like repetitive in Death Run, and there's parts of it that can be very repetitive. But I think that's kind of what makes the whole death thing fun because it. Like, there is a, a little bit of a skill gap with death. Either, like, you get killed by a guy or you don't. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's it's like the... Uh, let, me, let me just change this so I can get a better quality here. Um, all right. So, I, it's like the, it's that battle between, like, how good are you at running and how good are you at death? Because if you have someone bad at death, it's going to be an easy game. And uh, if you have someone good at death, it's obviously going to be a lot longer of a game. So, I agree and disagree. I don't think it should be a... Uh, I, I think B is probably a good spot for it. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll continue. This this easy dub. Already, I'm pretty convinced that the death has forgotten that I exist. I'm so. That happens so much. And boom, there. I just finished. Let's see how long it takes somebody else to finish after me. I got 108. They got 120. I beat them by 12 seconds. I mean, come on. I'm freaking cracked. Now that. That shouldn't really affect the list, though. Beatable skill on death run. It's time to rate this thing. Uh, you know, I do think this game is really fun, especially with your friends. It is uh, very fun with a lot of people. It's also a lot of fun on stream because people will play as death and stream snipe you. That is really fun. And when you just play with friends and they stream snipe you anyway. So it's, it's fun. Because for a great I'm game, great B tier game. For that reason alone, I'm going to put it right here at A. I'm not okay. Gonna Sorry, I, I hate... Uh, oh, A? Okay. I, if there was an A minus, I would put it in A minus. I don't think it's a perfect game. It could use more uh, variety and traps, and I think the death should have a little bit more of a replayability with it because I feel like there's a lot of people. I think there's there's a certain level of just like, you know, as soon as you play death once, like I mean, you guys see me when I play, I skip death. Is that is that good, Architecty? Is that is that good? I'm gonna assume it is. I'm also gonna like the video. There you go. There you go, Brit. I'll help your algorithm out. Here, I'll go back. And for that reason alone, 
I'm gonna put it right here at A. I'm not gonna put it at S because you know it there it does have its downfalls. I mean the games go by so quickly. I get through games in 48 seconds sometimes, and to me that's just it's not enough to put it at S tier. Before we continue, before we continue, Brit is gonna put survival games in S tier. I don't even need to watch this video, and I'm not even going by the thumbnail. But Brit will put survival games in S tier just because he plays it the most. Next up, we have Hide and Seek. And this game was actually the very first game that I ever played on the Hive. Really? Uh, it was actually the very first time that I ever played online Minecraft at all. Uh, but I do have to agree with Stizward because th this game it is incredibly boring. I mean, look, uh, I, I just started and I I'm, I'm, I'm already sitting here. And this is where I will sit for the rest of the game. But that's hide and seek. It, okay, never mind. I, I don't want. Okay, it, hide and seek is a really good casual game. It's not a game that you could play competitively, and the fact that they have so many levels for it is stupid, because you shouldn't have like seventy-five levels for hide and seek. It's just such a boring game. I agree with that. It is. A, it is. I think it would be better if you played it with friends. Anything is more enjoyable if you play in a party with people you know and you're in a call with them because you can just mess around. But the only thing that you can do for entertainment is click this button, scroll down, and click on the llama balloon. That's it. Now you can't but that's hide and seek. And then kill the blocks. Uh, that's also kind of entertaining. They can fight back. So you know, there's a little bit to do in this game, but nothing that stands out as top tier. And with that said, it comes time to rating it. If you and could, don't put it at D, dude. For nostalgic purposes, I'm not going to put this in D. It okay. is a pretty bad game, but Stop. there's worse games on this list. So I'm going to the... put this at C. Because... But the, uh, okay, here's the thing. I don't think any of the games on Hive are bad. Okay, There are ones that I, dis I, I dislike just because I'm not into those games. But I wouldn't say any of them are bad. Like, there are games that are on other servers that are just flat out bad. And I, I okay, I know that this list is a little bit, I'm going to assume, uh, opinion based. Obviously, everything's going to be opinion based. Um, not everyone's going to agree with your opinion. I'm not already not agreeing with this opinion because I would actually put them all around a B or an A tier just because, like, they're all solid games. Can it be a little boring? Yes, but that's because you, you can't grind those games. You shouldn't be grinding any of these games. Um, except for maybe like the PVP ones, but even then it's like, anyway, let me just continue. Is block drop on block drop is on here. Okay. There there's worse games. Next up. Is if block drop lo goes games, lower, there's a few reasons why I absolutely hate this game. Oh uh, first God, of all, dude, it's... what the freaking heck is ruins? The main reason why I absolutely hate what? this game mode is because uh, it doesn't matter if you are as good at building as good times with freaking Scar. I take it back. Because the thing is, <laughs> someone's going to come along and they're just going to build something incredibly stupid. Yeah. Makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. And that person is going to win. 100%. The game is literally just... I have a story to tell. So I was playing with... I was playing <laughs> Just Build with Slater and Arbiter187. Uh, admins from CBC. And the, uh, the, the topic we got was uh, to build a superhero. I kid you not, like 80% of them had penises in them. And the one that won, yeah, so I don't get, I guess, enough said. Just a meme. Like, people build profanity, people yep. build all kinds of stupid stuff that makes no sense whatsoever. Yep. And you could be out here building freaking Mona Lisa, man. It could be beautiful. Yeah. And these nubs are still going to vote. For what they think is funny, or yep. what they think is best. I've literally seen beautiful things get voted red, and then I've literally seen profanity be be top rated yep. and actually win. Like I've actually seen this happen, real things, and it's yep. just stupid. And that's why it I'm is pretty dumb. And this is one of the worst games. In it's it's only bad not because it's a bad game, but just because it's like. It's just, it, there's a lot of people on there that, like, again, if you're playing it on a custom server with people that actually are playing the game seriously, it can be a very entertaining game and very uh, competitive game if you're in a building, which I'm not, but, um, yeah. yeah. In public lobbies, though. That's why Speed Builders on Mindplex is such a better game, so.
in the entire list. Although I do think these ruins are looking pretty freaking smashy, if you ask me. I'm curious to see how. Gotta do slash floor. Do. Well, that's interesting. Water doesn't even flow in this game. Are you joking me? Yeah, I don't know. It looks kind of stupid, but we'll see what people vote. Oh, hey, look at this. Trash. See, look at this oh, crap. Okay. It, it, what is this? I can't even read it. Trash. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful. I mean, if you guys don't top rate this. Look, oh, there's some green. There's some yellow. Oh, let's freaking go. Stiz, I'm going to beat you, bruh. Aw, I'm sure you worked really hard on this. Trash. That's the actual mindset that some of these people have. Look at that. Stizward. Stizward, where were you? Okay, okay. It was pretty hype that I won. So you know what? We'll put this here. Just kidding. Trash. Uh, next up, we have Block Drop, which honestly, I don't even know why I'm playing this game because it's probably the worst game on the entire list. I will say I do think... What? Block Drop is not the worst game, okay? It was misconceptually the worst game. Is it... Can it be boring? Yes. Can it be very lame because not a lot of people know how to play it? Yes. But if you have a very competitive lobby and you know how you're playing this game, it is very intense. And honestly, um, if you know how to... Like, okay, if you if you can utilize the update, like the, the, the power-ups, it can actually be, like, such an entertaining game. So... I, I am going to completely disagree that this is one of the worst games because it's just, and it's also really fun to play on stream. You know what I mean? It's one of those games that you can just kind of vibe to that I feel like there's a lot of those games that you just kind of can't. Like when I play survival games or if I play like Treasure Wars or Sky Wars, I'm in focus mode. Like I have to, I have to be focusing on my task at hand because it's like, you know, there's going to be people around me. In this game, you can just do some parkour, run around. There's a lot of positive things about this game. It does not deserve to be in D tier. Um, could use some tweaks. Don't get me wrong. It's not perfect, but really none of these games are. Um, and I, I'll give my opinion of what I think is the most perfect game. Um, just because it's been around for so long, but you know. I think that it's kind of cool that they, uh, they updated the speed that yeah. the blocks break. It was pretty boring before. Know, it was incredibly slow. Yep. Um, so I do like that they, that they. But they updated it and it's such a better game now. Quickly the blocks decay. But with that said. Uh, this is one of those games that I don't like because there's not a lot of player interaction. I mean, yeah, you like try to cut off each other's uh, routes and things like that, which is kind of cool. But there's a lot of luck involved with this game, not a lot of skill. There is skill in I disagree. all of these games. I disagree the thoroughly. Part, a good chunk of this. Is I disagree luck. thoroughly. You do interact with the players if you get. Like, is a bit uh, of it the, okay? The is a bit of it luck? Maybe, but yeah, block drop has knocked back Nemo, and that is what the skill base is. It's like, okay, if a guy is running in the middle of the map, okay, middle of the map, there's no blocks gone, bottom layer, you're not going to hit him with a knockback Nemo. You're going to wait till he runs to the side and then you pop him there. Or you're going to wait till the area dis dissipates so then you can hit him then. There is some skill behind it. You just, you got to play the game. And I think I've maybe played more of this than Brit. Maybe that's why I know more about it. But this game, I would like, I don't, I don't think it should be an A or an S tier. Definitely not a B tier, but like, I think it's like a C material. Oh, like C plus material. It has the potential to be a really good game, but it definitely is not the worst game in that. Boosts, like you can get the Nemo and punch people off. Yeah. But aside from that, there's not much interaction with the other people. So it's like, how do you prove that you're better than everybody else? Just because some people. Hold on. Brit just can't. Let me go back, go back, go back. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I have. Okay. No life just people off. But aside from that, there's. Listen to what he says here. A good chunk of this is just luck. You do interact with the players if you get, like, uh, the, the boosts. Like, you can get the Nemo and punch people off. But aside from that, there's not much interaction with the other people. There's a lot of interaction. Okay, players change how you think about this game. If people affect a certain area, you're not going to go over there. You have to be on your feet and think really fast. If people have a knockback, if you see a knockback demon in someone's hand, you're not going to run towards them. If someone rebuilds the, uh, the, the ground below you, you're not, like, you'll, you'll live longer. There's actually a lot of interaction, but it's just not PvP. So, um, they could again, they could add more stuff, but it would be through the upgrades. And I just maybe I think it's because there's not enough power ups in the game, um, so not a lot of players get to experience it. Like he's been playing one game, and I don't think I've even seen a power up because people have been grabbing them. Um, I think there probably could be more. This game needs updates, but it's uh, 
It's definitely not the worst game in that. So it's like, how do you prove that you're better than everybody? Because There's, some people it's know parkour. This game and get lucky from time to time. No, it's not getting lucky. It's actually really, really annoying. I, I don't like it at all. It's not my annoying. My friends ask me to play this game all the time, and I'm just like, why? It's kind of like Spleef. It's kind of like TNT Run. But it's, it's a slower, it's a less competitive TNT Run. said that this game doesn't really count because it's only here for a limited time, but I'm assuming... That they're probably going to add it full time, especially because the hype is getting ready for a massive update, and they need to add more games to, you know, keep the entertainment there for the people playing it. So I believe that this is probably here for the long haul. But in my opinion, it'd be better off in the trash can. One of the worst games, in my opinion, easy D tier. Now I fully disagree. I fully disagree with that. But I'll allow Brit. Okay. If survival, okay. If survival games is S tier, it's solely because he's played the most of it. Into the good stuff. This is one of the most popular games. I'm not that good at it. I have won a few games. Um, I, I enjoy playing this. This is actually a good game. It is a pretty decent game. I think a lot of luck goes into He's going to put this C tier. Actually get to, you know, fight other he's going to put it C tier. Like that, telling you right now. One of my favorite things to do. Have it, not gonna, I, I think I'm Dude, this game is taking way <laughs> too long. Oh, oh okay. honestly, I kind of impressed myself with that. Game. Okay, where is he gonna put it? This at B tier, but yo, that was actually mad fun. So you know what? We're gonna put it right up here with Death Run. Let's freaking go. I fully agree with that. Okay, Treasure Wars. If if okay, put it. If Treasure Wars is an S tier, then this entire thing is an, like no, because Treasure Wars is like the longest game, long longest standing game in the Hive. It's been probably the most popular game. I swear to God, right now it probably has the highest count. Maybe Sky Wars is close to it, but if I were to log on right now, Treasure Wars is probably the most popular game. Um, it's probably the most competitive game on the Hive, and uh, yeah. Although it takes and it takes a huge skill gap. When I first started playing it, uh, I didn't understand that, and I was pretty bad at it. But I just remember, like, this is a really, actually, like, a really fun game to play. If there isn't a guy who just utterly destroys Hello, you. Editing TZ here. Uh, this is something I think I said later on in the stream that doesn't actually make it into this video. Um, but one thing that I would say that's very important about Treasure Wars and why I would put it so high on the list is because it's the only PvP game on the Hive that doesn't fully rely on RNG, where you don't have to actually, like, loot a chest or mine an ore to get your stuff, where you have to rely on luck to get items because it's the only game that you can confirm get your tools and weapons from that was just one point i wanted to throw in here just to help my point later on i don't think i say it but if i do then that's fine um anyway yeah so enjoy the rest of the video you know. okay and now we have treasure wars and my biggest problem with this game is this game easily has <laughs> the the most often sweats i mean yep. every time i play this game there's a level 100 and yep. like there's every time precise uh st strategy for this game yep. and I, I don't have it down so like it takes a while to get down I'm it takes a while to get down every single time i play this game unless i play with somebody who's cracked and yeah you I'm need to cracked. you need You'll to have a good look game. at this guy look at this guy run across the old treasure now let's see if we can, like i can't uh, do that bridge properly here we go let's freaking go okay so yeah, yeah i'm already dead look at that please tell Luckily me that was fake i respawned Fun. look at that now he i've respawned and he's right here waiting for me with the sword and now i'm spectating that's why this game absolutely sucks if now if you watch my streams you already know that i'm biased and absolutely hate with the passion treasure wars like i literally have a please don't put it on my stream B -tier. where you can pay me ten dollars to put play it Treasure B -tier. Wars tier because that's how much i hate it you can force it's me a to play, it's an s tier game is going to be high because i hate this game with the passion but i'm not going to deny it's an s tier its benefits it, the, the good factors of this game it's such so an s tier play, game though, i'm gonna put it at it B it doesn't deserve that though like okay I'm assuming this is opinion based, okay? But my list, I would probably okay. I'm gonna wait till it's over, and then I'll give my opinion once it's over. I think that's appropriate. Uh, I don't think it is. Just be too harsh. It is better than hide and seek because you actually get to do something and interact with the other players. Now, the best part about murder mystery is the lobby parkour. I mean, <laughs> this game is only fun when you're the sheriff or the murderer. Aside from that, you're pressing W. That is, that is the game is pressing W. So, yeah, Lobby Parkour, only good thing about this game. 
Let's see how this goes. A hundred dollars says that. I hey, hold on, hold on. You're not just pressing W. You could be pressing forward on the uh, mobile device, or you could be uh, holding forward on your controller. Just put like respect all. This is a crossplay game. Like, come on, guys. I'm innocent. Boom. Look at that. And Stizzworth said it best. This is basically Among Us. We're running around. There's an imposter, and we have to figure out who it is and kill them. Really fun game in a custom server. If you have a group of people who you want to just mess around with on, on, on Hive, and you have like a group of like 8 or something, or 10, or like 20, great game to play. Before they kill us. And I was just Watch Slater's Steve video. Innocent. Again, one of the many reasons why this game sucks. He had no reason to be sus of me, and he shot me in the face. I hate that guy. Now, even though this game is completely boring about 80% of the time, uh, I still don't think it's D tier because, you know, put some it crazy -tier. stuff does happen in this game. And in a way, you do get to interact and you get to go collect the coins. You get is to this all about player interaction? The is and try to be the hero of the day. So for that reason, I will put it up here with hide and seek, but it's not going any higher. Sorry, bro. Now, I'm sure many, many of you already saw this coming, especially since I'm on an SG grind right now. You can yep. see my partner it's Bob S right it's there. Um, it's put in an S tier. SG is just hands down an unbeatable game as far as beating it in terms of how good it is. Treasure Wars. Sorry. I mean, this I don't even play Treasure Wars, perfect. and I know it's Everything better. I've ever wanted and more. I mean, it doesn't have the Ender Pearls, so it's not super high chaos like uh, some of the other PvP games. Um, and, and you can actually really test your skill here. And this is where I came to get good. Like, I used to be absolute trash at... It, if you want to get good at actual Minecraft PvP, don't play Hive. Straight up. Hive, Hive has terrible knockback. So, like, ask literally anyone in MCBC. If you, if you train on Hive and then go play in MCBC and expect it to be the same, it's not. So... My opinion, play all servers. At PvP. Get used and to any kind of, of uh, everything. everything. But uh, I, I'm a heck of a lot better than I used to be. Like, watch me and Bob just destroy this lobby. Come here. Come here. I'm going to get your hat. I'm going to get your hat. I'm going to get your hat. Last, but definitely not least, we saved the best for last. The only one that deserves an S tier. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that. It's not typically something that people put at, at the top of the, the, the tier, but hear me out. I mean, it's it's a game where everyone can be on somewhat of a level playing field. Every game that you go into, you're not going to run into a bunch of sweats. RNG. I think this this has the exact same problem uh, a game like BR and MCBC does. RNG is a huge part of it. Like, if you spawn off the bat and get leather boots and a wooden sword, and a couple arrows, and there's a guy who loots a chest and gets a diamond sword and a iron chest or a chain chest plate, which can happen. It's happened to me in one chest before, right off the bat. Uh, it can make a huge difference. RNG is a huge part, and I feel like with all of these games, besides Treasure Wars, is the only game that RNG is not is null. Um, and I'd say that's probably why it's the best game. It's a bit more skill based. Um, I would still put S SG on the S tier list. Um, but I would put it right next to Treasure Wars. Treasure Wars is it's the most refined game. Um, and if we're going about like replayability and skill uh, and like player interaction, SG is the most skill based game, hands down. Um, it takes a lot to be good at it. So, um, okay, to give my list, I would probably do SG, Treasure Wars at S tier, Death Run, Sky Wars, A tier. Uh, block drop is a B tier. Um, and then, I don't know, I think I maybe move hide and seek up to B as well. Um, it depends because like if I'm playing it solo, I probably wouldn't play murder mystery, hide and seek or just build, but I'm, I, you know, I mean, if I'm playing with a team, like it'd be a little different. Um, I think they're really good party games and I think that's what they're made for. They're not made to play solo. I don't know. I I agree and disagree with that list. You know, like I I think it's good. Don't get me wrong, but there's definitely some things that are a little bit more opinion based. Which you know, Britt, it's it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, I understand that was the point of the video, but you know, it's a uh, and it made it very entertaining. Let me tell you. So left a like. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I'll leave a comment later, but other than that, I think uh, I think we're we're good. Let me bring back my music. So some issues. It's rough around the edges.